All right, so getting into the more intermediate and advanced strats here, I'm going to start back in 4-2 here. Um, I do have a sub 9 minute any percent tutorial um, that'll cover some more intermediate and advanced strats in levels like 1-2, one, 1-1, one, uh, one, 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 and 4-1 uh, if you're interested in getting a little spicier there. Um, but for the levels that aren't in any percent or aren't fully in any percent, uh, this, this video series should help fill in those gaps. Um, so instead of Princess, I'm going to recommend Toad here for anyone with some Mario 2 experience already or, you know, someone who has the time to, you know, grind out some practice for the event. Um, but anyway, on this first screen, uh, first thing we want to do is look for... Uh, the seam between the third and fourth blocks here, and that's where we want to start uh, charging a super jump. That puts us nicely um, so that we're not really wasting any horizontal or vertical uh, movement there. Um, at the end of the whale screen in this level, there is a rocket, and rockets run on frame rules. They take off once every 64 frames, so just over one second. Um, and then in the second to last room, we're going to be looking to spawn a star. And um, how far left or right on the screen the star spawns is based on the time, the same level timer um, that like the, all the other frame rules run on. So from character selection. Um, so in order to hit the rocket cycle for the spiciest strats, you need to do one of two somewhat difficult tricks in this level. Uh, one is a vine jump here on this screen. Another one is a double jump on the whale screen. I opt for the double jump. A lot of people prefer to go for the vine jump. Um, to do vine jumps in this game, um, you want to be holding diagonal up left or up right. That'll give you three frames from when you exit the vine versus just one frame. If you're only holding um, left or right, I can't get it at all here. Um, but anyway, so at the start here, I charge a super jump and just grab the vine and climb. Um, so, you know, if you do, if you want to skip the double jump and go for the spiciest strats um, in this level, you'll need to do a vine jump there. Um, anyway, let me do this again so that frame rolls line up and everything. All right, so that should be fine here. So on this screen, first thing we're looking for is the fourth block here. So a big jump, big full jump, so holding the jump button both on the ascent and descent from right here will put you on the first enemy. And Toad gets a speed boost when he is carrying either an enemy or a block. Um, and these enemy patterns are standard, so you can do the same thing every time. Um, so anyway, here's where things start to get a little spicier. Um, so we want one cherry on this screen. The only one we can get without really slowing down is this first one. So what I like to do is jump from this spot right here between the third and fourth blocks, and then I let go of the jump button as soon as I'm about to grab that cherry. All right, now we're going here, skip the potion, big jump, big jump, and then grab this. There is another option here. Um, you can do big jump, little jump, little jump to grab that. So whichever one you're more comfortable with. Big jump, big jump with a little turn back. And then that's the double jump I do. Um, if you don't do that, um, one thing you can do is, um, like if you've done the vine jump, you can do that instead. <laughs> I really don't like doing that. Um, let me go get the good frame roll here. Big jump. Big jump, little turn back grab. Double jump. And should be good here. Actually, that rocket rumbled in place for a while, so I may have been too slow somewhere. Um, oh yeah, see, I got... <laughs> that's that's what you don't want to happen. That's why the rocket frame rule does matter. Um, if you got the good frame rule, the fastest way to do this 
Grab that on the left edge so that this thing keeps moving to the left. Do a little duck jump in here. And as you're grabbing this third um, cherry here, you're gonna throw. And then the star will come up under you and then um, you can either kind of grab it and then hold the jump button to fall slower so you can land right on the star or you can just jump on it. Um, it's only like a couple tenths of a second difference between the two. I'd recommend probably just jumping on the star. Uh, if you're not confident that you got the right rocket cycle, um, like here I, I'm one rocket cycle slow. I, I think I didn't grab the vine on the first screen high enough. Um, or I might have been a little too slow grabbing the rocket at the end of the whale screen. Um, a safer way to do this would be throw it a little farther and then you just get way more leeway with um, uh, with what star spawns you can grab. So that's a little more reliable. You can also... Um, oh, I missed the grab. I haven't done this in a while. Um, okay, so if you grab this on the right side, it won't go to the left. You can just ride the auto bomb here. If you're still big, you can just take damage and that way you can grab the star right away. And then count one Mississippi. And this is the same no matter which strat you do on the previous screen. Come in here, Kilberto. And you are done with 4-2.